This box is gigantic. I don't know how I'm going to fit this whole thing in camera, but hopefully you can see the whole thing in my uh, camera over there because uh, it's kind of big. <laughs> I feel like us fans have been waiting for this Proplica to come out since Proplica started becoming a thing like 10 years ago. So the fact that we finally have an eternal tiara is just so exciting and so cool. Even though it's the Cosmos slash manga version, it's not the 1990s anime version. So we have a different coloring style here, but I'm gonna unbox it, review it for you, let you hear the sounds. This is currently on pre-order here in America, but if you have a way to order one from Japan directly, then you can get them shipped here now. Uh, the shipping, because this box is so big, is super expensive, but that does come with the perk that you receive this early. So let's go ahead and unbox it, get to it, and I'll show you all the things. I'll do my best on the top down camera to show you the design of the box itself. It's really beautiful. This is almost a one one scale of this Proplica. So it's almost life size, but it's not quite. It includes a multicolored LED on the interior of this bulb up at the top. There's a couple of different buttons. And of course, on the box design, we have this beautiful galaxy print and we have Proplica Eternal Tiare written in this gorgeous holographic silver foil. At the end, voice sound and shining. Very cute. Sailor Moon Cosmos and 30th anniversary. Each side of the box is pretty much the same thing. We do have that licensing sticker up here for Tamashi Nation's quality, which honestly does not mean much. If you've seen my reviews of Tamashi Nation's figures, then you know that they have a problem with uh, quality control. So on the back, we have a beautiful print of the Proplica with the two stands that it comes with, a little bit of an explainer about the Proplica itself, and we have some descriptions on the back. Here we have the batteries, LR44 times three, so we need three of those. We have the Toei sticker right here, the licensing sticker. Let's go ahead and open it. This is a very large, heavy duty box. Ooh, that's pretty. We have Eternal Sailor Moon here. This says, Starlight, well, Starlight to Honey Therapy Kiss. So that's Sailor Moon's attack. There we have our Proplica. Oh, I wanna show you this too. On the interior, there's this cool design of Eternal Sailor Moon here as well. I need to translate this. I see some kanji and I don't recognize kanji. So let's see what that says. The reason I came this far, the reason I can survive, and the reason I can fight as a Sailor Senshi. Because I have friends and loved ones. That's a Sailor Senshi. That's cute. I'm sure that's not a direct translation, but it's close enough. Okay, and here we have our Proplica. As you can see, it is wrapped and protected really well. On the top, we have two plastic frames holding it in place so it doesn't bang around. Same thing down at the bottom where we have the two stands and then we also have those two plastic moldings, those interior framing to keep it protected. This is a lot to work with. I feel like I'm gonna be like sweating by the time I'm done with this unboxing and review. Like, where do I set this thing? I don't wanna spill my coffee either. Ah. Got it. Okay. Whew. It's warm in here. Ooh, I was not expecting matte white. Okay, let me get the box out of the way. Okay, well that works. Oh God. Oh my Lord. Okay. All right, here we have our Proplica. It's, uh, it's pretty large definitely large. It's not as tall as Sailor Moon's actual eternal tiara, but this is a pretty good size, I will say. This is huge. And this makes me wonder why we haven't gotten a uh, silence glaive yet. Where's my silence glaive? Where's my space sword? You do receive a guidebook, and this explains how to use your eternal tiara. I'm so happy that we have English translations on here. So it says how to use it, how to change the batteries. Here we have the stand. This is the top piece of the stand, which will go closest to the head of the eternal tiara proplica. Then we have the piece that goes to the bottom or the base. Now the Proplica itself has really beautiful chrome detailing, this gold chrome. It's almost like a muted gold color. It's not like a bright, shiny, bright gold, 
Like, look at that difference between this and my ring that I'm currently wearing. Slightly more yellow on the ring. It is a matte white all the way to the buttons right here. These are fake buttons. They don't do anything, so that's more like for your hand. Then we have two fake buttons here, and then these two are real buttons. It does not appear that this comes apart in any way. However, this is where your batteries go. Up at the top, we have a beautiful pink heart with the crescent moon at the bottom. We also have some lovely gold detailing all around this globe, which will glow a bunch of different LED colors once I turn it on. I don't see any problems with it, like no scratches, no issues in the paint. There's a little fleck of dust underneath the paint right there, but that's not a huge issue. This looks good overall. It looks impressive. And I really like this iridescent plastic silver crystal that we have at the top, the Ginzui Show. Looks pretty self-explanatory and not very complicated at all. So the first thing we're gonna do is take off the battery cover on the back and remove this little plastic piece so that it gets connected. There are two on settings. Off is in the center here. Switching to the one dot is the lower volume sound. Switching to the two dots is the higher volume sound. We'll leave it on higher so that you can hear everything clearly. If you ever need to replace your batteries, because these in here are for demonstration purposes only, then you need a screwdriver and you have to replace them with LR44 batteries and you need three of them. So let's put the battery casing back on. It just clicks into place like that. The easiest way to remove it is by holding down on these two top like feathers and pushing it upwards. You won't break it, so use a little bit of force and you should be just fine. The top button is considered the A button. The bottom button is the B button. If you wanna do a lighting mode, there's a few different light settings that you can choose. Holding down once on the A button will put it into this white glow setting. There is a little bit of a white glow coming from both the Ginzui Show as well as that center globe. And every time you hit the A button, it will light up into a different color. So here we have that pink, pinkish hue, then green, then purple, and back to white. If you press button B, it will blink or it will pulsate in those different colors. So here we have white, then we have that beautiful pink. That's what it looks like at the top. Very, very pretty. So here we have the pulsing white. Press B again and it stops blinking. There's green pulsating. And then we have the purple pulsating glow light. So I'm gonna press B again to stop it from pulsating. That stops the blinking, and now I can switch between the other settings. So these are the vocal slash music settings that have voice or some kind of musical rendition. So first we have the pink setting, which you just saw, then there's yellow, then there's purple, and going back to the pink setting again. So let's start with the pink setting there. And every time you press the B button below that, it'll switch to a different vocal for that pink setting. There are like 14 different voices that you can hear. So first we should hear background music A and each of the songs or the vocals on here, the vocals are done by Sailor Moon's Japanese voice actress who is Kotono Mitsuishi. The background music you will hear in this is from Sailor Moon Cosmos, the mo movie. So if you don't wanna get spoiled with Sailor Moon Cosmos audio, you might wanna skip ahead to, I'll say this time code right here after I go through all these different settings. So let's start with part one of the pink setting. So it was number one. And I think it loops. That's number two. I feel like such a badass holding this thing. Like, it's so cool. It's so big. <sighs> so cool. There's so much emotion in her words. Number three. 
Oh, we got to different background music. I think this one is number eight. Never mind. Maybe it's number nine. Who knows? <laughs> Okay, so this is the third background music, background music C, which is setting number 11. And her last line. So I'm going to switch to the next setting, which is yellow. Yellow. Yellow does not have as many settings. This one only has nine settings as opposed to 14. Okay, so you go through all those voices. Number eight is a second background music. So hitting B again, we'll take it back to the original background music for the light up in yellow. So the last one we have on here is mode three, which is the theme songs. That's the purple mode. Okay, so we have theme song number one, which is the Sailor Moon theme song. Oh, Sailor Stars. The last one is Happy Marriage. it okay those are all of the settings but there is one last one that i want to wait for this is hibernation mode after about 90 seconds it goes into hibernate mode with eternal sailor moon's special line to restart it press and hold one of the buttons and of course batteries do corrode so if you are just intending to display this like i do with my proplicas up there make sure to remove the batteries before you display it so that you don't end up corroding the electronics I'm so impressed. Obviously the speakers are pretty tinny. There's no like bass, there's not a lot of mids. So if you are buying this with the Are you done? Okay, I think she's done. <laughs> So that's the one I was waiting for. That was cool. <laughs> it was nice to hear the last one. I'm very glad that all of these settings work. I did notice that the buttons are a little finicky in terms of how well they're going to register your presses. This is a very long product. I don't know if there's any electronics down in the handle itself, but be very careful and gentle with this. I do think the matte paint looks really beautiful, but I am a little worried that it's going to pick up moisture and pick up handprints from use. So I would say wipe it down after you use it, especially if you're intending to take this with you for like a cosplay to a convention. I do wish this was a little bit longer, like it had an attachable handle so that you could hold it like a staff like Sailor Moon has in Sailor Moon Cosmos. That would be a very, very cool addition and something that we don't currently have. But having the Eternal TRA in a Proplica version is something that like, ah, it feels so good and it feels like I'm wrapping up a part of my collector journey. Now that I have the Eternal TRA Cosmos edition and I also have 
a version of the Eternal Tiara that is 1990s inspired, uh, which was created as like a replica by a maker named Gakabox. I feel very complete <laughs> and it feels really good. As usual, if you want to see leaks, if you want to see news, and if you want to see firsthand experiences with merch and some close up pictures, you can follow me on Instagram as well. I'm Sailor Snubs there, as well as all the other social medias. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are interested in more Sailor Moon reviews just like this one. Thanks for watching. Johnny.